Hola, como estas bestie salutations. Now you know, before we get started, I gotta do a warning disclaimer. Y'all have been listening to Lizzo and she be hitting them ooies in her music, so I feel like I'm her, like I'm standing for Lizzo. I'm also standing for this natural glow that I have. Somebody left me a comment in the um, last video saying, you know those people that go work out and they have this natural healthy glow? And they're like, well you got it best friend. Thank you, thank you. That makes me feel very special girl or guy. But honey, all this is is a whole bunch of moisturizer, Maybelline and rose water. And it's hot outside, humidity also, okay? Tabulate them up and bam, instant glow. And you know what's funny? I feel like I always have to do the disclaimer at the very beginning of the videos because sometimes when people see a mom vlogging and they expect to see like, I don't know, Mother Teresa, neck not showing, all face, Hail Marys. And then when you get through the video with me, you're like, oh my gosh, she done cussed, she done drank some wine, she done told you how to commit a crime without getting caught because I don't have bail money and then she done prayed and wished you a good night okay all of that okay I just don't want anybody to click on the videos and like feel like it's safe to let little Timmy watch the videos with mommy no mommy is having grown folk time with her friend little Timmy hold on friend let me talk to your child oh wait we can't threaten other people's children okay that's fine that's fine but you need to this is girl time this is not kid time okay girls night out although there's always that one friend who can't find a babysitter so you be like girl come on bring a little snot nose timmy and he better be tired too and then he gets the best treatment and you just spoil the little baby because he's the only kid there because your mom's and you're like oh she couldn't find a babysitter but next time girl you better find a babysitter because we're trying to go to miami for six hours and come back like we were never gone you know what i haven't done in a minute word of the day for all you ratchets and scammers out there word of the day listen up word of the day is Rectitudinous. Rectitudinous, girl. What does that mean, besties? It is, by definition, characterized by the quality of being honest and morally correct, or piously, which means self-righteous. Now, let's use that in a sentence. Karina walked around her job like she was so rectitudinous, but really, she was a hoe. Laying it low, spreading it wide, giving it up to the boss. sometimes in the utility closet. What I want you to do is to use the word of the day, rectitudinous, in the comment section below. Just have fun with it. Don't take yourself too seriously, okay? And that concludes word of the day. So my kids are in karate. What I'm gonna do now is go into the grocery store and get the stuff that I need to make for dinner. I'm just gonna make some sliders. I have some ground beef. Uh, that I need to go ahead and use. I'm probably gonna make half sliders and then save the rest for tacos. Even though it's Taco Tuesday today, I wanna do something different. I wanna make sliders, so let's go. All right, I've got my food, so I need to go pick up my kids because they are calling me from karate. Like, mommy, where are you? It's not finished yet. It's not finished? No. Wait, you Okay, Gigi, let me see yours. <gasps> wow. Even if you are the sun, that is the seeds of the sunlight. It's just a circle for the sun. Oh, we will cherish it forever. Thank you for the hug. You're so nice and so kind. Okay, get from underneath that table with all the germs going around in this world today. That's yeah. the last place you need to be. Yeah, you eat. Yeah. Bye Ooh. Bye. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bye bye. Let's go to smash. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You saw that, mommy? Oh my oh. gosh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, he fought back, is he? Okay, what was that? I left my next box. Of course he did. And so did Jojo. Jojo, come on, girl. Them boots is not made for walking. Go Gigi. Gigi, say hey to everybody in the background. Hey, everybody. So tonight for dinner, um, I'm going to be just making some really quick sliders. This is a really easy weekday meal. Ain't nothing but some ground beef, 80% lean ground beef, recipe secret honey. Now, it's a great debate because my mama says she's the one who taught my aunt this recipe, but my auntie Cheryl, R.I.P., She's the first one that I saw do this, and it was a whole bunch of us kids. I got a whole bunch of cousins. So growing up, everybody had their weekend, like the mom would get to watch all the kids or whatever. So they would fill up that person's refrigerator, and that weekend would be the weekend that we would spend over at that relative's aunt's home, and it would just be all of us kids. So every weekend, it was a kid's weekend. Like when the weekends came, we were just with our family, but with all of them kids, I mean like 10, 12 kids, quick meal so my aunt would get the biggest thing of ground beef y'all the recipe secrets onion mix she would dump it in there with a little bit of pepper and mash them on up and throw them in the pan and she would literally put the Hawaiian rolls in the middle of the table and be like nah phone so well now you done ain't good I just got good memories from that so that's what I'm doing tonight a really simple easy meal to feed the whole family good okay oh yeah I already washed my hands for people asking girl you ain't washing I don't wash I washed my hands okay put that in there and I'm just gonna add one egg and I like uh, to make them look I don't like them to be perfect, y'all. The the more authentic, the better. You know, the more uneven the edges, the better. Now we do have a griddle, but I, I just don't feel like all the bulkiness of putting it on the counter and all that. I just cook it right in a pan. Easy, anybody can do it. So, I went ahead and made two pounds because the first pound only made 12. So this is 24 sliders all up in there. The last ones are coming out. And then um, I'm gonna chop up some onions because I like sauteed onions, y'all, in my burger, or on my sliders at least. Oh, the perfect little sliders, guys. Izzy, what do you think about your slider? I, I guess that's good. Jojo, what do you think about your slider? Delicious! Julian is on his second one. He has two, because he's trying to get strong gains. Oh, that's what you guys were looking at earlier today. At karate. Julian. You did really good. Wow. He loves anime, by the way. What's wrong with Baby Donkey? Oh. 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 Jojo Bean. Yeah? Get that thumb out of your mouth. Headaches don't mean you're sick, is it? Out. No, I got the Stop. Out. <laughs> you touching it. No. You're touching that foot. I know that's nasty. Okay, listen. No. And okay, where did we leave off yesterday? Right there. We know we were at the story about Jacob's favorite son. Okay, so now we're right. the one. There. We're at the story about um, Jojo. Yeah. Stop sucking on that thong. Yeah. 
Get the thumb out of your mouth. Get that thumb out of your mouth. Thank you. Okay, listen to the story. This is the story, okay? <laughs> the baby in the basket. The new king of Egypt was a powerful man. He owned thousands of slaves. That, that wasn't good. But the king began to be afraid of his slaves. There were too many of them. So the king decided to drown all the baby boys born to his slaves in the River Nile. That's not nice. Babies are cute. Miriam watched as her mother made a waterproof basket and put her baby brother inside it. She saw her mother hide the basket in the reeds by the Nile River. Oh, because she does it so that the queen, so that the the king does it like push, place them into the water and see. Wait, a little right. girl? Soon the princess came down to the river's edge and saw the basket. She found a little baby and decided to keep him. I will call you Moses, the princess said. I will take care of you. So the daughter of the king of Egypt looked after one of the king's slaves. Moses grew up in the palace as her son. When Moses was grown, God told him to go to the king of Egypt. That's the guy who had all the babies right thrown here. into the water. Mm -hmm. oh. And tell the king to let his slaves go. But the king did not let God's people go. Instead, he made them work harder. He treated them worse than before. So God sent 10 terrible plagues onto the land of Egypt. No boogers, Jojo. That's gross. Don't eat your boogers. Then the king told Moses to take God's people and go. Thousands upon thousands of God's people followed Moses to the Red Sea. That's all I'm reading because y'all aren't really paying attention. I want you to read the end really quick. Nope, we read two stories. That's it. Sayonara. Guten Tag. Good night. Sing the good night song, Jojo. It's time for bed. You need to wash your sleepy head. And when you wake, I'll be right by your side. Good luck. It's time for bed. We're going to let Jojo take it on home. It's time for sleep. Finish her song. It's time. I'll see you guys sleep, tomorrow. You guys have a great night. Sleepy head and when you wake, I'll be right by your side. Good night. It's time. Oh, she's just gonna keep going. You need to rest your sleepy head. Good night, guys.